Alright guys, welcome back. Today we're going to go over how to install Home Assistant to the Raspberry Pi 4. Similar to how we have installed OpenHAB on this channel, we're just going to go through some of, us, some of those similar steps and kind of uh, learn to set it up. First thing we're going to go to is Google. Best friend Google, we're going to type in Home Assistant Raspberry Pi 4. It's perfect. All right, so we're gonna scroll through, and it's gonna you're gonna see a link that says uh, installing Hasio. I'm gonna link this page down in the descriptions below, so don't even worry about googling or searching around for it. I'm gonna suggest 32-bit just because that's what's recommended here. And if some of you don't know whether yours is a 32-bit or 64-bit, you can always rely on the default 32-bit to come through. So we're just going to download that. Next up, make sure you've got the SD card formatting uh, software ready. You can just do a quick Google search for it. I'm going to link it down in the description as well. Uh, we, they have it for both Mac and Windows. So let's exit out of that. Last thing you're going to need is Belina Etcher. That, we're just going to go to their website. I'll link this down as well. You're going to get this interface, you just got to download this program. Once you've got all of that ready to go, you can open up all of those separate pieces. First, we're going to need our SD card formatter. I'm going to open that up, insert the SD card into your computer at this time, and you're going to format it first. Make sure you do a quick format and not an overwrite format. You want to keep that FAT32 format on there. Once you're done with that, you're going to go into Belina Etcher and you will see a screen like you saw before. Let's just open that up real quick. Sorry, I just finished etching Hasio onto here. So you can select your image, you can select your media, and then you're going to click Flash. So just as an example, we're just going to go in here and we can click on this. So we're going to open that, sorry, the Raspberry Pi 4. Open that, and we're going to click, click Flash, and then you'll have it ready. Of course, I've already flashed this, so I'll get back to you guys as soon as I boot it up. All right, you guys, we're ready for the next step. The next step is to plug in a USB into your computer and have it formatted. Now, the importance of this step is so that your Raspberry Pi 4 can connect to the internet without having Ethernet connected. Um, if you would prefer that you just connect it via Ethernet, you can perf you can do that, and the and the end product will be perfectly fine. There's no difference whatsoever. Just I don't want to hog up the Ethernet uh, cables connected to my router because I need them for my printer. It's up to you though. So we're going to go into our SD card formatter. We're going to open it up. I've got a SanDisk Cruiser Media hooked up, and you're going to format that. Now, be careful to write config in caps right over here. This is very important. And you're going to get out of there once you've hit format. Then you'll have your USB drive all configured for the network setup. Now, you're not done yet, though. You're going to have to open USB. You're going to have to go into network. Then you're going to have to create a file called my-network.txt. This is crucial to the step. Now inside of here, there's going to be some code that I'm going to display on the screen right now. All right, now you've got the uh, code on the screen, and you can go through exactly what uh, you need to fill in. Right over here, it says that you have to enter in the name of your Wi-Fi, which uh, I'm not going to show you, obviously and the name of uh, the, the password to your Wi-Fi. So make sure you fill that in. All right, you guys, I just plugged in the SD card right over there and my USB uh, is plugged into the USB 3.0 slot right over here. Uh, this is just a case that I've designed for the Raspberry Pi 4. 
Um, let me know if you guys want something similar to this. I can make a custom piece like I did for myself. Um, this right here, there was supposed to be some lettering. I just have to carve it out. I just made it too small, that's all. Uh, yeah, on to the next step. All right, guys, now that we have set up our Raspberry Pi and inserted the USB stick and allowed it to configure to the internet and connect to the USB-C, uh, we're going to wait about 20 minutes. So just wait 20 minutes as soon as you've entered, as soon as you've connected those things so that it can set up and download all the files it needs from the internet. Uh, next up, we are going to go to Safari, and we're going to type in hasio.local, colon, sorry, port 8123, and that's going to take us to our Home Assistant page. This is where you can find all the information you need. This is going to be your HASIO main page. You can add on your SSH server, your decons, which in my case is going to be for the Zigbee and the SmartThings connection, our configuration, developer tools, and other such things. I'll see you guys in the next video when I explain all of these things. And as always, everything is down in the description. Any tools, links you need will be placed in the description.